Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another tutorial from series of the ELK. If you remember, uh, we talked about the uh, Elasticsearch in Kibana in previous tutorial, and we discussed how we can install the Elasticsearch in Kibana. Basically, ELK is including the Elasticsearch, which is uh, back end of this uh, system, and there is the API, and you can uh, work around this API. Kibana is GUI based of that, uh, graphical based of the, this part, and you can play around with that to make some important dashboard and KPI so on. And log is data connection. So basically, log can connect with this different uh, data sources like a database relational or Kafka. So today I'm going to talk about the Kafka, how you can ingest the data from the Kafka to the log station. But I'm not dive deep in the, the Kafka topics to how you can create a Kafka topic or uh, how you can install the Kafka. Uh, maybe I will prepare another tutorial about that, but not in this video. In this video, just I will explain that how you can connect the Kafka to the log stage, and then also you, how you can see this data in the Kibana. So let's jump to the topic and discuss about this. Okay, first you need to uh, download the log stage. Uh, just Googling the, uh, the blog stash, download or the blog stash, then it will bring you uh, some topics like this one. Just uh, you can direct to another page. From here, you can download the, the log stash. Again, you will see uh, different type of environments based on your uh, <clears throat> environment. You can select and then download. After you download, you will have the one zip file, extract the zip file, then uh, it will uh, show you some files which is uh, related to the server of this organization. Okay, guys, uh, you can see this uh, file already is downloaded, and uh, you will find this data here. Uh, and basically, we need the one B folder for uh, running, up and running the server. But before that, uh, running the server, you need to configure some uh, config file for this log station. So let's uh, look at the file which I prepared before. And this is about the Kafka. Okay, so when you want to ingest the data of the Kafka to the log stash, basically you need input and output. You will see here there is the one input and also there is the output. So these two items or these two commands is important. Uh, although there are some other uh, items here, which is the extra, it's, uh, it's useful, but it's not mandatory. I mean, without this uh, uh, part also, it will be starting. So first, let's talk about the input and output. Then I will explain that in part, what is the advantage of these items. So first, you need to, in, Define the input and as a JSON, and you need to define the Kafka as a bootstrap servers, and this is your Kafka server. In my case, uh, it's 1992 is my uh, Kafka server. If your Kafka server, you define another port number, definitely you need to write it down here. So by default, it is. Another thing is about the topic. What is the topic name? This is the topic name of the, the Kafka. So you need to 
right down to top of name and also group ID, which I put as some random number. You also can define the group ID. Then uh, you need to tell to the lobby stash, okay, I want this input data as a half graph, how it should be looked like. So you have the output. And also, you have uh, you need to write down this command as a product for the Ruby debug because it's for uh, events. It it just for debugging part of it, and it's based uh, the Ruby based debug command. So it yeah, it's it's necessary to have it for checking of the log. Then you will write it down Elasticsearch and uh, you the, the format uh, look like here you would have the fast link this is uh again uh, elastic search fast link this is the elastic search fast link and uh, this is the index which is optional uh sorry not optional but it's based on your case you, you can write whatever i can i can change it and later i will tell you what it is uh basically the data will be defined as an index in the classic search, and this uh, all these messages come to this index. Uh, all these messages which is coming from this topic uh, here, for example, this is the topic name. They are always coming uh, to this index. So you need to define this index. Maybe I can find a new index here. <clears throat> And then you have the username, which uh, this is the username of the Elasticsearch. If you don't know, please watch my video. I will be the do of this video as well. I explained it how you will find this user, and this is the password as well. This is the password of the uh, Elasticsearch. So this the actions. Uh, it's not, uh, I know that or even if you do not uh, write it down here, it, it works, but for my case, and based on the uh, tutorial which I saw in the last search, you can create, but this is automatically will create uh, the, this index. And if it's true, then, then yeah, it automatically will create. But again, in my opinion, it's not necessary. So uh, let's very um, quickly to explain about these parts. Then maybe it makes sense how uh, and what is the advantage of this part. This this part actually the, the, is talking about how you can parse this data to the uh, Elastic search as a JSON, so you will write it down in this format. You need to mention here, and if you have the data as a timestamp, the date, you will write it down as a date, and uh, this is the format of the timestamp. But I wanted to have the date and time in the different format and you can see that this is the format of the time and also the format of the date you also can parse and define how the date and the time should be separated otherwise all the time and the date just comes together like one the json format so these are very useful when you want to create the some uh, report and each item wants to be separated. Otherwise, all the messages comes together, so it's very hard to make the, some KPI and, and so on. So it, it's useful and has some advantages for making the report. And this is also we'll talk about uh, the the JSON wants to break down into separate things. So you need to mention it here how the uh, fields messages is split, is split. So 
uh, these are the cases which is optional. As I said, it's not mandatory for running the, the organization, but it has some advantages. After you, uh, you finish the file, then you need to save this file as a count. For example, I uh, put the one name, KEF, that count. And I drop it here. You can see here, for example, this is the folder of it, and I drop it here. Then you need to go to the bin folder and uh, uh, open one CMD. Uh, I think already I have here. So a bin folder, you open one CMD and type log stash hyphen F. Oh, of course, you need the space as an F space KAF.com. This is the name of the file. Then, after you, oh, let me just check. Then you need to wait for open running the server. And when the log stash is up and running, then you need to ingest some data from the topics of the copy. Then you will see what data will be ingested in the last example. One important point is that you have to, uh, uh, first you have to run Elasticsearch and Kibana. These two are mandatory. So, when, uh, let me just, um, just for one example, let me just explain. I add this item here, and you can see this data is parse in the log in the two log stash. You will see this data is already. And if you remember I explained it about the some items which is uh, for example parse date you can see this is the, the date and uh, this is the time stamp and uh, it's split at each item of the JSON format it depends, but if you look at my file for the JSON format, all is together, but here is a split in the age, city, name, uh, parse state, and so on. So, this is the actual uh, format of the data, and this is the split in the format. Of the opposite. Uh, After that, you need to come to the Kibana part. From here, you need to uh, go to, I think, uh, you need to come first to the stack management. And from stack management, uh, select it index management and in index management come to to a to the index and then you can write down the for exactly the index name which you mentioned in your file after the save then uh, here you have the set for uh, item for the the index then you need to confirm and define the this index. And uh, after that, all the data from that topic will come to this test form. Uh, then we need to create a template for this index. So uh, we have to go to index template. And uh, I will select some log and 
the matrix and uh, then create a template you can give the name for whatever uh just i will i will use this one Just for purpose of the demo, we just next, next, and we can select the date and here. Created and we need to go to discover from Kibana and then we need to define the name here. So we need to come here to create the data view. And uh, name the same name and then save. Uh, when you are saving, let's data yes here we will find the data here and I need to select some data like age like a city ID and say name parse date parse time and then you will see all these Data is coming here. This is the timestamp, date, city, ID, message, name, parse date, and parse time. If I uh, add the new data, for instance, I want to let me add here. Okay. Then City and one New York. See, it's all this data which is LA and name Getting CTLA and I didn't change the age, so that's why it's coming here. Yeah, these are all the data which is coming to the Kibana. Yeah, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed from this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like button. And if you have any question, please write it down in your comments. Definitely, I will answer it. Thank you again, and see you next.